Hey friends, this is Marco Lopez with Minds Tune, and on this first day of spring in Utah, I want to help you move forward with confidence, even if, and especially if, you feel like you are coming from a string of failure after failure after failure. On this first day of spring, what do we notice with spring. What is spring all about? It's about change, right? There was snow on these mountains. That snow is melting. The, the trees that don't have leaves, they'll start to have leaves here soon. So are you changing in your life? Are you able to move forward after maybe a bad season, after something that, that didn't go so well for you? I was just in a class with, with some people from all over the world, and one girl raised her hand and she said, Marco, how do I move forward after having a string of failures? I've had many failures and it's hard for me to really believe in myself and for me to make strong decisions moving forward because I keep getting reminded of those failures. So there were two words that I, that I shared with her and her question really inspired me because it's a question that so many of us have, that we have and how many of us don't want to move forward from from failures. I mean, if we could do that, somebody said that success is, is moving from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. And so how do we do that? How do we move out of a failure and, and into success? So two words that I shared with, with this lady are one, the first one is forgive. Now, you've probably heard that word forgive before, but I wonder how, I wonder if you've really focused on the word and really thought about it and really internalized it and used it to bless your life. Forgive means to let go of and to abandon completely. And that's what you've got to do after passing through a bad experience or a failure or something that you were embarrassed of, whatever it is, you've got to let it go and realize that you have the opportunity right now to start a new day, to go into a new season, a new spring. So you want to let go of that thing. I want to share with you a a period of time that I had in my business where I was really in a slump. And why was I in a slump? Because my mind was so focused on, on a particular group of clients where I didn't feel like I had been at my very best. I felt like I was going through something hard and I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was at, a, I, I had given them a hundred percent of me. And I, I thought about that. And the more I thought about it, the worse I felt. And then it completely paralyzed my ability to go out and sell more clients and to have confidence in the things that I was offering. And that went on not for weeks, but for months at a time or for, for months straight. And, and I realized what I was doing. I was holding on to that negative thing. And see, if you hold on to a negative picture, the, that, that picture is going to be what you're creating. You create that future. And so what you're doing is you're guaranteeing more of the past, more of that thing that you don't want. By holding on to it, you're just guaranteeing yourself more of that and you're creating that. That has become the stage in your mind. And that's what happened to me. I had those negative thoughts, that self-doubt, all that stuff in my mind that was preventing me from going forward and having success until I let go of that, until I let go of that thought. So when you let go, you want to completely throw it away. You, you want to let go of it, abandon completely, give yourself a fresh start, okay? A new day. And in this new day, the word of the day is going to be gratitude. That second word I mentioned. Gratitude. Why gratitude? Well, gratitude is going to be the new scenery in your life. That's going to replace those negative thoughts, all those thoughts of how you had messed up now you're going to move forward and you're going to look for all the good things, all the good things that have happened. I remember I was doing some service work in Spain and I, I was leading this project and I wasn't having a lot of success. I was actually having a lot of failure, failure after failure after failure. And I, I thought the thought came to me of gratitude and I, I got down and I just poured my heart out in thanks. Thanks for so many things. And, and it seems like for the first time in a while, my mind was really focused on all the good things that had happened, all the good things that I had in my life, the things that I, 
that I was privileged to to enjoy every day and just you know my sight and my abilities and my talents and the beautiful experiences I had had in my life and the ability to enjoy these beautiful people in Spain that I was with and you know my mind caught hold of all these things and the scenery in my mind changed and everything changed my whole attitude changed and I was I was able to get up with a completely different attitude I felt like a new person and so I want to suggest that you do that it's the beginning of a new season or take it like the beginning of a new season and you move forward today and decide that you're going to let go of whatever it is that you've been holding on to that failure whatever it is let go of it completely abandon and starting today your word is going to be gratitude you're going to move forward and having let go of those negative experiences you're just going to focus on every incremental step of improvement so if I were selling, if I were making sales, I could, I, I would, you know, give thanks because somebody talked to me, because I actually spoke with somebody, or even because I got rejected. Okay, now I know something that I can improve upon. You can take any little thing, any little feedback that you get, more feedback. Somebody gives you a, a tip that's helpful. Give thanks for that. Somebody accepts an appointment. Give thanks for that. You're going to focus on all the things that go well and not all, on all the things that aren't going well. And what that's going to do is going to change the scenery in your mind, the scenery in your mind. And whatever scenery you have in your mind is what you are creating in your life. Remember how before it was all the negative, all the failures, all the things that you had done. You're cleaning that out. You're doing some house cleaning. And now you're replacing that with this beautiful scenery of I am supported. I am confident in the things that I do. You know what confidence is? Confidence is the feeling that you are supported by a power that's greater than yourself. At least for me, that's, that's how I think of confidence. It's me together with a power that's beyond myself, that's bigger than me. And when I think about that, the, or just that feeling is what gives me confidence. That's gonna give you confidence. And you're going to realize that when you start focusing on all the good things that are happening rather than the negative things that have happened. Okay, you do that, you're gonna step into a new day, you're gonna feel like a new you, and you're, going to, you're just gonna feel awesome. You're, you're going to realize that you can change your life. You can move beyond the hard things that you've experienced in life. Put these things into practice and have a wonderful day with a calmer and more confident mind. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.